Hey, Ernest, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, thanks. Hey, uh, I'm assuming you guys have kind of gone through the tape a little bit this morning already? Yes, yes, we have. Um, so I, I wanted to ask you about one play you made uh, in particular. Um, if I'm remembering it correctly, I think it was a second down. Uh, it was a second and long. And you were kind of caught up in the stack in the middle of the field. And then you shed and then went all the way across the field uh, to push Trevor out of bounds. What? Um, just can you take me through your vision on that play and then the diagnosis and then kind of the maybe the things that we don't necessarily know as much about the, the what it takes to to make a play like that in terms of of that kind of shed um if i if i'm recalling the play correctly i think i may have been blitzing and just from going i think i seen that the blitz wasn't my my part of the portion of the blitz wasn't going to work they were going to pick me up and block me so my eyes kind of like transitioned back to the backfield and kind of seeing where the ball was going and then seeing Trevor still had it so i just continued to flow and They'll pick my way through the traffic that was there and just go find the ball. Um, what is that like? I know I've asked you this, talked to you about this a little bit before, but what is that like for uh, for you, particularly in the interior, knowing that there's going to be so much traffic to get through all around you? Does it um, does it almost like slow down for you and you find gaps, or are you just going as fast as hard as you can? Um, I think it's just going, I think for the most part about that, it's a feel, especially for me, I'm able to like, I don't always see the guys that are in the way. I just feel them and know that they're there. So for me, it's just kind of just working my way through the traffic and it's all about a feel more say more so than actually kind of seeing it almost. Gotcha. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stu. Hey, Ernest, uh, what's it been like, you know, now that you've had several games under your belt here as as a starter and what are some things that you learned now or you that you know now that you didn't when you were kind of in the trial by fire phase of if you will of kind of getting assimilated into that role I mean everything I, I it's just been constant growth just throughout these games and especially these last three I kind of sense myself just being a lot more comfortable um yesterday and just just, you know, wanting to go out there and, you know, be myself, go back to being myself and having that excitement and that joy that I always show and just fly around and make a lot of plays. But I've learned so much and I'm still learning. Um, I really can't pinpoint one thing, but I can really put it on a lot of things that I'm steady, just continuing to grow um, and just learn more about the linebacker position and just perfect it as much as I can. And then, like you mentioned, I mean, you normally play with a lot of excitement. You're normally a high energy guy, but I mean, what was it like for you getting introduced as a uh, as a starter uh, during during the game or before the game? Uh, no, yesterday? that was that was probably the the best moment, like one of the best moments of my life. Just hearing that for the first time, and I could say since I since I became the starter, like I've been waiting on that game. And I thought before the game, I was like, man, did we the defense go last time or or was it the offense? So I really didn't know we were gonna do it, but once we once I found out that it was us, I, I knew it was time to go then. I was excited for sure. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Lindsay. Hey Ernest. Um, I know it's still incredibly early in the week, but any sense of how eager this team is to get an opportunity to play um, against right now? What is the best team in the NFC? Yeah, we're we're always eager to play. I mean, ready. It's a, it's another week. Um, excited at the opportunity to be playing one of the best teams in the league and another team in our division. So you know, we're we're excited about the opportunity, and we're gonna you know approach the week with the correct steps and do what's necessary to come out with the win. And and for you personally, um, this will be your first time starting against the Cardinals. What do you envision your role kind of looking like uh, against Kyler Murray on Monday Night Football? I'm just making a lot of plays and just going out and containing him as much as possible if I'm put in situations where I need to, you know, spy on him or do whatever, just making sure I'm just doing my job or whatever. Just going out there and just play good team ball so that we can win. Thanks. Jerry. Ernest, um, what is that kind of specific challenge when you're, when you're, you're facing? facing a guy like Kyler Murray? Because obviously you've stood in against Jers and Garoppolo and some of these guys, but mm -hmm. his lack of height, I guess, you know, which makes him kind of tough to see and his speed. I'm just curious what the challenge that puts on you. 
um, his legs, the, just him being able to extend the play, like that's a challenge alone. And he truly makes you cover every blade of the grass. He can throw the ball with, you know, great accuracy and he can also run the ball. So it's going to be a good challenge, you know, part two of us doing our best to control him and come out with the, with the win this time. Thank you. Kevin. Hey, Ernest, you seem like a very confident guy. Uh, I wonder what it's been like during the, the three straight losses before yesterday, obviously. Um, how, uh, how shaking <laughs> was that to you? How did you keep your, your spirits up and, and the spirits of the guys around you? So, I mean, I could, not, not that the NFL and college is different, but we didn't win much at South Carolina. So I've been through a little slumps. So, and I know these guys are kind of used to winning. So I knew that I would be the one to kind of, you know, just excite practice or do something just to keep our, you know, energy going and keep us up and just, just allow us to, you know, each week we got a new opportunity. Let's not let last week and what we put on tape or what we didn't do defy what we can do this week. And, you know, those three straight week losses were a lot, but we learned a lot about each other. We came closer as a team and I'm excited about the future and, and, in these games moving forward. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing, we were just speaking with Andrew Whitworth. Um, he turns 40 on Sunday, I think it is. You just turned 22. 22. <laughs> how, do you, how do you look at him and, <laughs> and what he's doing? He's, man, he's, he's amazing. Just for him to be doing this for this long and just with the amount of respect that he, ha that he has and he still does it with, you know, class and He's still all around a great guy. I've learned so much from him just about how to attack the business, you know, how to stay here for a long time. So it's a, he's a big help around here for the young guys and, you know, excited about what, what the future holds for him as well. What advice have you taken or what example have you taken from him about taking how care of your body? That's the, that's a big, big, you know, thing to do investing in stuff at home to, you know, use at your house or, making sure you're just in the facility, just taking care of your body. So he's helped me out a lot with that. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All set. All right.